hope you don't mind, I hope you don't mind that I put down in words how wonderful life is. Now Starfield's in the world. Welcome back for some good vibes and video games and oh my god. Thank you for gracing me with your beautiful presence here. I am so freaking excited to jump back into Starfield. I absolutely love this game so far, if you can't tell. Look at my little astronaut buddy, he's so cute. I don't have a name for him yet, and that is a true shame. If you guys have a good name for this little guy, write some down below in the comments, I wanna see. I don't know what vibe he's giving off right now. What is he inspiring within? I mean, with his middle face, I kinda wanna call him like Chrome Dome or something. <laughs> Chrome Dome, I like it. I got so many things to say about this game, but I don't wanna make this intro itself an entire hour, but I probably got an hour's worth of stuff to say, but I know what I can do better with that hour. I can play more Starfield. So with all that being said, I just wanna say thank you guys for joining me today. I am just one giant ball of energy and it feels so good. Thank you, Bethesda. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making this game. I am loving it so much. Bless you. All right, guys, I'm done rambling for now. Let's jump back in. So what happened last time? We just got done with like our first, oh gosh, what's their name? <laughs> The Free Star Rangers, I think. Basically the space cops or the space cowboys. Don't worry guys, Miranda the Outlaw is back. So we finished the first ever mission that I had to do for them and I came back and I was officially inducted into this faction. I got something called Deadeye and I think I was given something else. I don't know if maybe it was an outfit. Oh my gosh, I did get an outfit. It's a Ranger deputy uniform. Oh my gosh, look. I love it. I love it. The green do be kind of clashing with my hair color, but it's fine. Actually, the more I look at it, the more I think that this just looks sick. I do wonder, however, I don't know this yet. I haven't stumbled across this, but I wonder if you can change your appearance in the middle of your playthrough. I feel like you can. I mean, they probably got space salons, right? Hello, friends. YouTuber me. And right you are, there is a way you can actually change your character's whole entire appearance and your name, basically all of it. I'm sure there's more, but as of right now, I only know of one place in New Atlantis in the commercial district. The shop is called Enhance and you can find it by going to the commercial district, literally walking forward after you get off of the train. It'll be on your left. Look at me. I sound like a freaking tour guide. Anyway, it'll be on your left after a coffee shop and I believe another shop and you'll just see a guy sitting at a counter. He's got like beautiful head of hair and a beard. Can't miss him. I know someone out there was going to correct me so I wanted to beat you guys to it. Anyway, enjoy. They probably got scissors and you know some like boxed hair dye? Freaking heck, we're jetting around in spaceships and you're gonna tell me they don't have some box dye for their hair? Anyway, I am now a space cowboy and this is the greatest day of my life. I also got this hat but I don't really feel, I don't really want to look like a UPS driver right now. I do want to start this off by maybe doing a side mission. I got a follow-up when I got back to the ranger outpost and I gotta go save some farm from some bad dudes and like I totally want to go kill some people and like take their money and yeah. So priorities. We're gonna do this because it's gonna be fun. I love this game so much. I literally just can't. I can't stop, won't stop. Feed the addiction. Let's go. Let's be certain to stock up on some extra ammunition before we explore the wilderness around the city. That is a freaking great idea. Also, how did you get this like cool red sleeved ranger outfit? I got a green one. Can we trade? I wonder if that means like different, what's, what's the word for it? Like tiers? Um, like hierarchies? Maybe I got to get a promotion to get the cool red sleeves. <laughs> Awesome. Where can I buy some guns and ammo? Oof, trying to figure out where the heck to go for guns and ammo and stuff. That's pretty hard for me. Ooh, food. Ooh. There are two certainties in this universe. Death Chunked wine. And to be honest, death is almost preferable. <laughs> yeah, um, the second you call food a chunk, a chunk of something, it is immediately less appetizing. Okay, fun fact. 
Med pack, yes, mine. I'll take that. It's not stealing. Welcome to chunks. Please choose your chunks. I'm gonna become a chunk after eating here. No, thank you. Oh, let's see what they have on the menu, shall we? Cosmic red apple, baked potato, potato, spoil them, mash them, stick them in a stew, or just turn them into a chunk. Mongolian beef, that no, no. Pumpkin pie. Red cheesecake, poached egg, no. Chocolate is the only thing that looks normal in this. <laughs> Grilled chicken, that does not look like chicken. That looks like cement with grill marks on it, okay? And then we got a cheesesteak. That actually looks somewhat normal. Welcome to Chunks, home of the best chunks in the settled systems. I feel like you guys should have a mascot, but I don't really know what a chunky mascot would look like. Just a cube? I don't know. <laughs> you know, I want to be a part of your marketing team. I'll help you guys out with that. I'm going to brainstorm while I'm out, you know, shooting people in the face. I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> he sounds so enthusiastic. You've chosen chunks. Great choice. Actually, I just had a fantastic idea. Has anyone ever seen the old school SNL skits with the Debbie Downer? I feel like she could be their mascot. <laughs> just wah wah. <laughs> Welcome to Chunks. Home of the chunkiest chunks that you could ever chunk. Wah wah. <laughs> I can't get over it. To be back on board back on board. I'm so excited. This is starting to really feel like second nature. And actually, there's still so much I'm sure I need to learn. I'm sure there's things that I'm missing that I'm not still understanding that I'm looking over. I gotta, I gotta ask, and I gotta really look into this. And again, I wish I could reference something right now, but I can't because there's no content out there. But I wanna know if there's a way to like transmog your outfits. Cause I'm about fashion. I love fashion, but I also love stats. But sometimes you gotta switch something for the stats, but it be but ugly. So that's a question that I have is if you can transmog your clothing. I hope so. Otherwise, I'm just gonna stay in first person so that I don't have to see myself take off. You know, if I wanted to be a space pirate, hypothetically speaking, could I just like roll on up to this dude right here? Click on him. We got a free star. Kefir. Milk. We got milk. Hail. Excuse me. Oh! Oh, shit. Snap. Let's trade piracy. I want everything in your cargo hold right now. Anything you can tell me about the Freestar Collective? Hear anything? Ooh, I want to know if they hear anything interesting. I don't think I'm going to be a pirate. I'll just, just make me a sandwich. I don't need to steal your sandwich. I don't need to kill you for your sandwiches. Just hand over your sandwiches. Honestly, being kind of dull. Kill for a little action. I can see to that. <laughs> Let's trade? Sure. Got some items worth looking at. You can just sell things? Ah, let's see. I want to sell you my wares. How much money you got? They got no money? Get your broke ass out of here. Okay, bye. But I'm going to let you go. I'm not going to be a pirate yet. <laughs> Maybe when I break bad in my next playthrough. <laughs> go on. I love that. So you can. You can just fly up to any random space cruiser, chat them up, ask them for the local gossip. Or you can just straight up murder them. I love it, Doc. You can probably board them too. Oh my God, guys. Uh, guys. It's all coming together now. The neurons in my brain are connecting. I am linking things. I am learning and it feels so good. All right, let's do this. We got Montera Luna. Ooh, what the f What is this stuff hey, being- Charlie 3. Charlie 3, ha, ha. I got some information for you. Uh, please, uh, acknowledge. Oh my gosh, yes. I'm yes. Nice to meet you. Bye, Charlie 3. Hi, Charlie. Hi. Hi. Just doing Hi. my daily pain and forward. <laughs> Boy, the Altair system. Like big time. Like big time. Oh my god, I love this guy. Thanks for the warning about Altair. My name isn't Charlie. Why are you calling me Charlie 3? I meet so many people, and I've just given up trying to keep track of them all. Same. So you're the third Same, Charlie I'm bad with names. Today. Nice to meet you. Oh, I get it. Nice to meet you, too. Thanks for the warning. Sure. So, I'm 
doing my rounds, uh, pick up supply drops, and I grab into the Altair system, and oh, boy! Space oh, boy! All over the damn place there, distress call, yammering nonstop. Something big's going down there, and all of us with no skin in the game, best we just give it a wide berth. Wow. Am I right? Wow, birth, yes. What did the distress call say? Oh, it sounded bad. Real bad. But I had my own problems. I had to plot a course out before the spacers took out my grav drive. Mm. Sorry, I'm just not constitutionally capable of the big space fight thing. <laughs> Actually, speaking of a grab drive, one thing I love that they did in this game, and it makes complete sense. So, like, when you're trying to grab drive jump to a very far out galaxy that's like way farther out and they force you to like go to nearby places that maybe you have been to or maybe haven't been to but either way you have to go somewhere that's a little bit closer first and then you can go so it still forces you to like go out and explore and you never know what you're going to come across anyway might be i can help them out charlie three you are looking to pay it forward like big time pay it forward <laughs> Great movie. I won't tell you you're crazy, but wow. wow. Bye, Charlie Three. You've been like the best Charlie Three I talked to all week. I love you so much. Can we be best friends? I freaking love you. Come here. Give me a fat hug. Wagoner Farm. There it is. Okay, let's go here. Can't imagine living on the fringes like this. I think I'll stick to the comforts of New Atlantis. Oh, there they are. Oh my goodness. Look at this place! Too bad it's nighttime. I would love to see this in the daytime. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta go check this out and explore a little bit. I wanna see what this all looks like. Oh, do they also shovel poop? Is nice. All right, let's go talk to this dude. By the way, this gun that I'm carrying, O-P. The Free Star Rangers. You You're no working that mullet. Happy I am to see you. I'm Ranger Emma Wilcox. My deputy and I are here to help. Now, tell us what happened. I was out planting in the fields when I saw some men approaching. They looked like soldiers with uniforms and weapons and such. They wanted to buy the farm. Didn't even ask if it was for sale. Their offer was so low, I told them right where they could stick it. They said they'd give me time to think about it, but if I didn't change my mind, I was going to regret it. Then they left. How many men were there? There were four, but when they were walking away, I heard them talking like there were others. Maybe there's more out there. She looks so sad. <laughs> Look at her face. Any reason why someone might want this farm? Nothing I can think of, no. Truth is, we're in some hard times here. The last harvest was the worst we've had in a long time. Besides, it ain't like there's a lack of available land around here. If they're planning to come back, they must be somewhere nearby. Back behind the house, there's some canyons. They went that way. That I place is dangerous. Steep slopes, narrow trails, rock slides, and all manner of hostile creatures, too. Bring it on. If you're going after those men, be careful. Oh, there's one other thing. They said they were the first. The first of what, I'm not sure. But there must be more of them coming. Thank you, ma'am. That should be enough for us to find these men. All right, deputy. Okay. Keep that weapon handy and your eyes sharp. Your name is Emma, right? Since these guys don't know we're after them, they're probably not making an effort to hide their tracks. <laughs> now, that's what let's I like go to hear. And check out those canyons. Hell yes, well, deputy. You've come this far. It's time to take over and show us what you can do. Where is she, disembodied voice? What the hell? Oh, oh, you're all the way the heck over there, but it sounded like you were in my right ear. That was so creepy. Emma has got the most soothing voice. I mean, you could just, oh my gosh, read me a book to sleep every night. Audiobook, you got a new calling, I think. All right, anyway. Let's be gone. I can't wait. To, we need to. We need to explore. We need to go explore. I want to go find some creatures. I also want to practice using like my mini map, my compass. What the heck is this? I want to know what this is. Oh, it's a graveyard. It's a cemetery. Mm, judging cool. from the amount of tombstones, the Wagoner family's been living here for quite a long time. Oh gosh. Yes. All right. Let's go explore. Ooh. Okay. Scan surface map, photo mode, back. 
surface map. Oh, wait a sec. <gasps> I was wondering this last episode. I didn't mention it, but I, I was thinking about it in my head. But I was like, is there a better way to get to the surface map of every planet without having to like go into the start menu, go up to the star map or, or whatever, and then have to cycle through like the five maps that we get? So that's really nice. Just go into the scan because I actually don't use the scanner enough because I haven't been able to scan it. Like, I see you can scan it with A, but... Ooh, maybe I gotta get closer. Hi, got anything on your scanner? Nice change of pace from Aquila City. Cool. Stock, nutrient stock added. And I could probably give it to Noel back at the lodge. Oh my gosh, I'm learning! Oh my god, now I'm gonna start scanning like a crazy person now that I know how to use it better. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this! Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? The the marker is still up here. Why? Why? Because... Do I just need to go... Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. Neat. Several pairs by the look. Not too old, either. Let's head down into the canyon and see if we can find more. Yes, yes, yes! Okay, this is what I've been waiting for. This is what I love about Bethesda games. The exploring, the quest lines that take you through all the places that you can explore, and you never know what you're gonna stumble across. Like, honestly, sometimes quests in games get really fetchy and, like, really I'm redundant. that traveling into these canyons is wise. The route yes. is treacherous. Oh, that's the point. But most quests kind of feel redundant after a while, but not these. Like, I can do these for hours. I used to love exploring and making maps. These canyons would have kept me busy for- Holy! I'd have looked into every nook and cranny. <gasps> oh, what? Oh my gosh, and they show you, like, quest paths. Just in case you, you get lost, you don't know where you're going, it'll actually take you in the proper- I love this. It just keeps getting better. I didn't know this was possible. Where are you going? Where are you going? Hell no, I saw you. I saw you, you big freaking nasty. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. Mm -mm. You nasty. Get out of here. This gun is insane. Absolutely insane. I'm just gonna take this stuff. You sure. Carrying that Boom. Get whacked. Oh, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> yes! And I think this gun electrocutes people too. I'm in love with this. This is my current favorite gun. And normally I don't give a crap about pistols. Okay, so let's go check out these boot tracks here. Boot tracks turn right along the canyon floor. Hi, deputy. Looks like we're heading in the right direction. Good. Need more ammo for this gun. Hopefully they'll have something on their dead body once I kill them. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this. Watch it! I'm so glad I purchased this gun. Normally I don't purchase guns at all because like, I'm too cheap. I'm too cheap for that. Mm -mm. I like to save my money. You better check your ammunition supply. It's clear that we're not the only things roaming these canyons. You read my mind. I was just saying how I need more ammo. Reload. Oh yes. Dead. Wait, will this kill me? Well, is this toxic? There's only one way to find out. You guys okay up there? Oh no, is that thing alive? Oh, 88 per So I guess if you kill things too, and maybe loot their bodies, it'll also automatically scan for you. So you'll learn as you go, as you defeat creatures. Okay, wait, so do I, ooh. Let's, can I scan this? Twilight Crater. <gasps> <gasps> Oh, wow. 
<laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Sarah. I'm so sorry. Oh my good lord. This is a blast and a half. This How did you survive? Out. Oh, okay. Hey. Well, I guess now is a good time to take a break. Hey. Remember our last conversation when you told me the artifacts made you feel like raw energy was coursing through your veins? Yes, I do. I well, remember that. It got me thinking, so I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Were any of the old journal entries helpful? Uh, unfortunately, no. Other than you and Barrett, there were no records of direct encounters with the artifacts. I have to admit, though, I did get more than a bit sidetracked reminiscing about old times. Mm-hmm. You never mentioned your predecessor to me. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Aja just started flooding back. Aja. Well, I want to say Aja must have been quite an amazing person. Ah, oh, she absolutely was. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protégé. The rookie being paired with the chair sounds awfully familiar. <laughs> That's like our love story right now. Being paired with the boss must have been quite an honor. Hey, so I pinched a few ideas from my old boss. <laughs> no. Can you blame me? Yeah, no, I can't. At any rate, we logged quite a few discoveries together, but it was the actual journey that I cherished the most. It's all about the journey, not the destination. I can relate to that. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. Yes! There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. That is so true. I'm the same way. I love when I can connect with somebody and we can sit down and talk for hours about the universe, life, the meaning of life, all the deeper, deeper conversations. And that's always so cool. Like the best parts about life is not the big milestones. It's all of the little moments in between the little quiet moments you know, sitting with someone that you love and reading a book silently at the beach, like just, it's always the little things. Cuddling with your dog after a long day. It's so awesome. Yeah, I've noticed. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. You're you welcome. know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. Every moment is a gift. That's why they call it the present. I want to know if she's dead. No, she retired. Mm. Living on Porima 2 now, I think. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit and I could make proper introductions. I'll do the best I can to make our journeys just as pleasant. Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Aja. Just be yourself. I, I you see. Am. It's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well, that's what intrigues me about you. That's what life's all about, the hunger. The hunger for anything, everything. Whatever you are inspired by, motivated to do. Oh, I love this game. I absolutely freaking love this game. Because at this point, it is straight up speaking to my soul. Well, you certainly have me all figured out, don't you? <gasps> Flirting? I'd like to discover more about what we have right here. I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. Uh... If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. No judgment. Please give me some time. I, 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 I have to go. Oh my god. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. What is love? Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? I'm just coming up with all the love songs right now. She has inspired me. I love her. I also kind of love Mateo too. So like this is going to be an awkward love triangle. Get ready. I am ready. 
Also, I'm already an hour into this game? Time flies uh, when you're playing Starfield. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna fall down this cliff then. Because there ain't nothing getting me back up there. Parsk? Parsec pooch? <laughs> Leaf. Oh, yeah, they got it. They got it. You don't need me. You don't need me at all. 100% scanned. Got him. Scan. Flocking Horsamander Grazer. What the hell? What? What is that? Unknown? <gasps> oh, maybe that's... <gasps> maybe that's something on the map. Hold on. Yeah, I think there's some stuff on the map that shows, like, what that's pointing towards. But, oh, man, there's just so much exploring to do in these games. Like, I don't even know whether to do it off camera, on camera, hell, both. I don't know. There's just, there's so much I want to do. So much. Tracks turn left. Mm. To the left, to the left. This way. Let's just hope they're not perched up on these canyon walls. Ooh, dead guy. Sniper. Ooh, thank you, dead guy. Oh, there's another. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Calm down. Emma, you are taking your arm. Um, 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 excuse me? Excuse me? You literally got in my way. What the hell is wrong with you? You have lost your damn marbles. What the, what the hell? Okay, fine. Just bloody, bloody well kill me then. I probably deserve it. You walked into my bullets, ma'am. You are taking forever to kill me. What are you going to do with that butter knife? Now. You're telling me to be careful, but you're also killing me. This makes no sense and you're giving me mixed signals. So maybe shoot you in the pie hole one more time just to speed this up a little bit. Damn, I had to come to this. I mean, um, I guess I started it, but like not really, because you also got in my way. This is redonkulous. Come on, do it. Finish me off, that's right. Oh my gosh, so in having to kind of redo this little section because it sent me all the way back to the farm, I learned that if you pull up your scanner and you like aim down your sight, it'll just automatically bring up your like mining device thing so you can just mine things as you go, which is really sick, really nice. So just in case you need stuff, I don't know what I need aluminum for, but... So that was a little fun factoid that I learned. Wasn't super happy about having to go back that far. Far Learned the hard way once again. Save early, save often. Quick save is your best friend, guys. Anyway, I don't know how close we are to where I was. And then just switch it right back to your weapon that you had before. I think this is where I was before I died. At least your companion won't turn on you, but like the other random people will. Let's go. Oh, here's a footprints. Yeah, this one to the left, to the left. Let's keep going. Whoa, what the hell is that? No, 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 no. That's all you guys. No, you, you shoot them. You shoot them. I don't want to get into trouble again. That's right. You use your ammo. I don't want to waste mine anymore. Okay. <gasps> Holy sh! What the? F what the? Ah! <gasps> Oh, good God. Stupid mines. I wonder if I can see them, if I can see them on like the scanner. Let's scan this. Uh, looks like, oh, here we go. 13% scanned. I thought I already, I thought I scanned the other one too. Oh, well, I'm sure we'll see more of them. Okay, I hear gunfire. That's good sign. Or is it a turret? Holy shit! That looks like a bum hole if I've ever seen one. Oh my god, there's two. Oh my god, there's two. Yep, yep, go ahead guys. Help me out here. Any, any, any day now? Any day now would be awesome. Oh god, there's three. Oh, that's, that's disgusting. They are massive. Those look like those potato bugs, what do you call them? I call them potato bugs, roly polies. Um, oh, scan. 
25% scan. I think if you scan like everything, or maybe if you get things to 100%, I don't know which one it is, but you get money, I think, for it. You get rewards. So I think that's fine, that's fine. Uh, yeah, temperament territorial, you think? Let's go get these tracks. Tracks veer slightly left. You're a natural tracker. Ah, thank you for noticing. I've had a lot of experience in the past. <gasps> nope, hate that. <gasps> I'm afraid to shoot in their general direction because I don't want that to freaking happen again. Oh, <gasps> God bless. Okay, do we gotta jump down here? Oh yeah, here's more tracks. It is so dark. The tracks continue further into the ravine. You smell that? I bet my badge that's wood smoke from a campfire. Ooh, okay. Be ready. I am ready. How much? I have no ammo for this gun anymore, so we should... Oh, oh gosh, okay. We should heal up for sure. And then maybe use a different gun. Um, something with a lot of ammo. I love a shotgun. Let's do the shotgun. Yeah. We should be careful. This bottleneck is the perfect place for an ambush. That's what I love to hear. Oh, what does that mean? <laughs> We're gonna be sneaky? Like a snake? Wait, wait, wait. That don't concern you. If the rangers get in our way, then they get what they deserve. I have That's all you need to know. To discuss with now, quick oh yes, this was what she wanted to discuss with me before I died. So I need to have that conversation with her again. So I get to flirt twice. Hold that thought, Sarah. Okay, we need to kill some people first. I just want to see if they notice me. Well now. Oh. Look who's here. Ms. Wagner called in the cavalry. <laughs> Except it ain't much of a cavalry. I suggest you turn around and walk away while you still can. No, 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 can do. I'd suggest you choose your words carefully so we could avoid bloodshed. But something tells me that isn't going to be possible. What do you want with the Wagner farm? Oh, it ain't exactly the farm that's special. But that ain't none of your business. Who are you? Don't recognize the uniforms. No. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. It's like the Major said, everyone's conveniently forgotten. Forgotten our sacrifice. Forgotten how we were betrayed. We'll make them all remember soon enough. I promise you that. I'm not going anywhere, not until I get some goddamn answers. You think you're in a position to make demands. Well, I've got news for you. All you're getting from me is a shallow grave. Okay. So, got any last words I should try to remember? <laughs> I'm placing you all under arrest. You're gonna eat those words, scumbag. <laughs> um, I'm placing you all under arrest. If you think I give a damn about the Free Star Rangers, then you've got no idea who you're dealing with. Music to my Matter ears. Matter of fact, that just makes it even more fun. Let's go. Hear him out, boys! Let's go! Found yeah. Don't let him leave here alive! Uh, hostile in area! Oh my gosh, I love all the jumping around. Ooh, done. This is bad. Go, oh, come here. Come here, bud. Emma, get out of the way! Woohoo! Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, there's a grenade. There's a grenade there. Credits? Yes. And then make it quick. Hey, don't rush me. You can't rush perfection. Oh gosh. Oh god. Oh gosh. I need to heal. And also aim. <laughs> there we go. We got some more dudes. Where? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Eat bullet. Fish. <laughs> stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Get spanked. <laughs> Damn. Job's that done. A lot rougher than I expected. Let's talk. <laughs> Job's done. Corner. I thought that said corned beef for a second. I got super excited. Cornered combat knife. We'll take it and probably sell it. Cartridge frag grenade. 
Stealth Equinox. Yes, please. Maybe I could use a nice stealth weapon because I suck at stealth. Oh my gosh, I can't get over the jumping. I love how every planet has a different like level of gravity and you just be flying everywhere. Hell yeah. Whoops. I didn't mean to pick that up, but okay. Do you think this might be useful for us? Duh. Oh, this probably has ammo. Yes. Yes. Hold the freaking phone. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck is up here? Oh, we gotta go in here. I wanna see what this is. It's probably their their ship, right? Okay. I need to get distracted. I keep getting so distracted. <gasps> yes! Okay, give me all the med packs, please. Oh man. Damn. Okay. Well at least we got a med kit for coming in here. Can I craft those? I want to be able to craft those. I need to deck out my ship and and add like a bunch of crafting things, machines, section. I don't know. Anyway, where do we go now? Oh, there was a note that I picked up called jobs done. So I need to I think read this. My contact on the inside came through and I've got your ship. Grabbed it right out of the factory. How embarrassing for Hope Tech. I'll drop it off at the agreed upon location once the credits are in my account. If you need any other ships jacked, let me know. I'm always looking for work. Okay, so we read that. Now we need to talk to Emma. Hi, Emma. Hi. Find okay. anything interesting? <laughs> Show Slate. Take a look at this. Let's see what we have here. Hmm. Interesting. My eyes are here. So I'm here their ship was stolen from the Hope Tech factory. Whoever pulled that off must have been one hell of a shipjacker. Apparently. Well, someone really wants that farm bad. Speaking of which, let's get back there and let Miss Wagoner know that she's safe. For now. For now. Okay. Cool. Oh, so we gotta go all the way back. Let's do it. Just like in every incredible Bethesda game, of course you can fast travel to all the places you've discovered. Love that. All right. Ooh, you got whatever the hell that is. Actually, it kind of looks like a coral cactus if you've ever seen one of those before. Oh, geez, that seems like a hazard. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Come back, come back, come back. Don't go to sleep yet. Don't go to sleep. No, 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 no. What's the news? What happened? Did you find those men? Yes, and they're dead. They were in the canyon, like you said. Unfortunately, it came to violence. Well, it's good to see you're all right then. They must have been crazy or desperate, trying to take on the Free Star Rangers. So who were they? And why do they want my farm? Know anything about a stolen Hope Tech starship? Hope Tech? The cargo ship company? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Well, it seems like they know about you. We have a lead, but it's still too early to say. They say the Rangers always get their man, so to speak. I'm sure you'll figure it out. I can't thank you enough. I'd hate to be remembered as the wagoner who couldn't hold on to the farm that's been in the family for so long. Just doing our job. Of course. All the same, I'm grateful. If you have any more trouble, give us a call. We're in system, so it won't take long to get someone out here. All right, deputy. Let's get back to the rock. We need to report this to the marshal. All right, sounds good. Oh, and, th and Emma Wilcox is no longer... Wait, is she following us? Is she not following us? I am now confused. Just quit shooting me. Don't ever try to kill me again. All right, I think I have everything I need. They didn't have a lot of anything here. So let's get back to the ship. Whenever I'm lost, I think, what would you do in my shoes? <laughs> not literally, though. I've got small feet. <laughs> Not literally, though. I have small feet. I kind of want him to follow me because I think he gives you gifts. But I, I do think, I do think, you know, as much as I love him, and I, as much as I love him fawning over me every five seconds, I do think he would probably get old. Let's fly this ship on out of here. We're an hour into it. That was a really long side quest, and I had a lot of fun with it. I would be a lot farther along if Emma didn't shoot me and kill me. 
for no reason. But it's fine. Water under the bridge? Alrighty, what is next? What is on the agenda? Where are we going? What is this? Aquila? I think... Are we having to go back? I think we have to go back to the ranger outpost, I believe. Yo! I totally forgot when I picked up Deadeye last video. I didn't inspect what it even was, and it's a freaking revolver. Enough said. We're we're switching this out. What are we switching it out for? I don't even know. It doesn't matter. But this gun is gorgeous. I'm so glad I finally checked it out. Look at this bad boy. I need to buy more ammo. Once again, you hear that one about the where can I get more ammo? I'm gonna see if I can buy ammo from this dude. Hi. I'll say right up front that if you're sure everyone needs supplies, Sale? feel free to look around. Ammo, ammo, I just need ammo. I didn't even check to see what ammo that gun took. Whoops. Okay, so it takes 7.5. Also, that's super nice that you can just straight up sell from your ship, like just talking to the vendor. You don't have to like go back, put it in your inventory, lug it all the way to the vendor, yada, yada. I don't even think he's got any of the ammo that I want. Oh, dang it. All right, bye then, I guess. I need to find the gun store person. Where's the guns? Oh, Roland Arms. Rolling, rolling, rolling on a river. You ask rolling. Traveling in free star collective space without a reliable sidearm is just asking for trouble. True. Outlaws. Ashta, those bandits from the Shaw Gang. This can be a dangerous place. Sure. Don't make me regret this now. <laughs> You might end up regretting it. It's fine. 7.5, 7.5. Where is it? I need it. There it is. Ooh, white hot. 14 freaking bullets cost almost 500 credits. Are you kidding me? That will maybe take out a couple of dudes. Maybe. I just, I can't even buy into being swindled like this. I, I can't do it. I can't. I will not. And with that being said, I'm out. I'm out of here. New deputy. Honored to have you. Oh, okay. Um, for a moment there, I thought you were like peeing on the wall. Just the way you were, yeah, the way he was standing like that. He was leaning back a little bit. I was like, you are definitely marking your territory, aren't you? <laughs> ah, there's the stairs. <laughs> Took me a little bit, but we found it. What's the story on Montero Luna? That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off the land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. Unfortunately. Survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. That's right. Miss Wagner is safe. That's the important thing. For the time being, yes, but you could still be in danger. That's why we need to fill in some blanks. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? I love this, this one. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> they were all tough and well-armed, probably mercenaries. If that's true, then someone must have hired them. Yes. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? We had that note about what was like hope tech or tech hope or something hope. Just this. All right. Hmm. Says here the thief had help from someone inside hope tech. There ain't much to go on. There's something else. They were dressed in Free Star Militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. Mm -hmm. They also said something about being forgotten. They seemed bitter about it. Resentful. Didn't you fight in the Colony War, Marshal? Any of that sound familiar? The 1st Cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera. What was left of it anyway. Also, his voice sounds so familiar to me. I can't place it right now. What happened at the Battle of Nera? The 1st Cavalry lost almost all their mechs and soldiers in a big push to take the United Colony's base. They were just about there when a ceasefire order came down. Both sides had just lost too much by then. 
It was a bloodbath. The commanding officer of the first disobeyed the order. He didn't want the lives of his soldiers to be sacrificed for nothing. And he court-martialed him and the rest of the surviving officers and locked them all up. Hmm. What was the colony war? The war between the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective? Worst conflict the settled systems has ever seen. Each side unleashed terrible weapons on the other. And countless people died. Maybe the armistice uh, was signed 20 years ago. But a lot of folks still bear their scars. Okay. That still doesn't explain why they'd want Wagner Farm. No, it doesn't. It just raises more questions. It's a good bet that starship thief can help us get some answers. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia hmm. Clue's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. <laughs> He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. Okay. The Council of Governors? The ruling body that oversees the Free Star Collective and the Rangers. The council members are the political and corporate elite of the Free Star Collective. So we have to tread lightly when we're dealing with them. Mm-hmm. Who is Ron Hope? Proud, stubborn, and smart. A self-made man. He built Hope Tech through blood, sweat, and sheer willpower. Ooh, now I'm excited to take on like this big entity. This seems like a like a subplot. I love I always love Bethesda games subplots. It feels like it's its own like really well fleshed out story within this greater world and it's so they do such a good job at building up the lore of their games. Like honestly, that is one of their just shining accomplishments of every single game that will not be a problem. Good. The last thing I need is the council breathing down my neck. This is your assignment now, Deputy. Work with the other Rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. Good hunting. Good hunting is no longer following you. Thank God, because I still have a sore spot because you freaking murdered me earlier. I mean, we got to follow up on this, so maybe we should go and see where this leads us. Like I was saying before, all of their side quests, they're not like just these normal fetch quests. They're like these well detailed out storylines that the farther you go and the deeper you get, the more it makes sense. It's kind of like what they did with Skyrim and like the Dark Brotherhood, the Thieves Guild, the Mages Guild, like all of that had their own separate, completely separate storyline that when you followed them, you got some really awesome reward at the end, like being Archmage. And then you learned a lot about the lore of Skyrim along the way. And they were like time really well spent too. Like they weren't these really quick one and done main quests. They were, they would take hours, sometimes days. There's always like a ton of fun. So I kind of want to keep doing that. And then maybe at the end of this, we'll continue with the main quest, but there's a lot of these faction quest lines to do, but I think these are more just like bounties and jobs. Speaking of jobs, I want to see if this has anything else for us. Got any more jobs? Ooh, Altair. Let's just accept it, why not? <laughs> we can always do it. It's a good way to get money. Also, look who it is. Toby Wan Kenobi wants to say hi and he hopes you're having a good day. And actually, I think this is the first time you guys are seeing him on camera since moving into our new place. And yes, he's still rocking the mohawk, but now it's a little bit more frayed and kind of moppy looking. He's like, mom, stop making fun of my hair, okay? It's a phase. You're always a phase. I love you. Oh my gosh, so I think we're here. So is this where the Mayday was coming from? Doc. open. <gasps> oh. Repair? Gosh. I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but I feel like I'm helping. 
Traitor Atlas. I just want to use this gun for the first time on someone. Is that, is that the bathroom? Oh, wow. How cool. Okay. Okay. Um, right. Stick to the plan. What are we doing? What are we looking for here? Med pack? Yes. Thank God. Chunks. Welcome to Chunks. <laughs> I'll take that. I like chunk food. Bethesda and... <laughs> They're so good at making food sound so appealing. All right. Oh gosh, okay. I was like, where do we go? But I guess we're just falling down. We're just all the way down. Let's go check this out, shall we? Okay, we can't go through that door. I just want to see this. Maybe there's some good looting down here, you know? Don't want to pass up on anything good. Landing gear repair. Let's let's try to repair as much as we can. Maybe maybe that'll help us. All right, let's go back up. Oh, okay. <laughs> we can actually climb. I don't remember ever being able to climb anything like that in a Bethesda game before. Where on earth are we? Oh my god, it just keeps getting more overwhelming. Chunks chick. Okay. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, how do I get in there? But found a door. The door kind of blended in. Um, another bathroom. Something, okay, something else needs to be repaired here. Watch, I'm gonna repair everything before they tell me that everything needs to be repaired and then it already have been done because that's like always how I do things. <laughs> For some reason, I find myself doing that a lot. It's always the perks of exploring a ton. This looks like a jail cell. Look, it's all red, not very inviting. That looks like the most depressing and uncomfortable mattress pad I've ever seen. Okay, goodbye. Chunks, chunks, more chunks. <laughs> oh, okay, bye, Sarah. <laughs> yes, we've already been up here, right? Yeah, I think we already have been up here. Yep, 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 yep. So second floor. Ah! Ah! No! Oh, we're fine! No! No, we're not fine! Okay, we're just gonna commit to the fall. <laughs> There's so many things that appear in this game that are just so typical Bethesda, and it's so charming. Like the weird random camera angles. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's so always so perfect in a very non-perfect way. <gasps> are you dead, sir? Sir, are you okay? You're not dead yet. Please tell me you're here to help. Not to try and steal my ship. It's fine, I'm not here to steal anything. I am Ranger Deputy Miranda. Just signed up. Welcome aboard, Deputy. Sorry if I can't give you the grand tour just yet. Okay. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you I see can see, that. I ain't in much shape to make repairs. Um, we need to get you to a doctor, I would say. Mm-hmm. I'll be fine once the pain medication kicks in. The priority right now is the ship. Can't do my job without it. Already taken care of, I told you. <laughs> Thanks. That should get me home. Oh, you're very welcome. Way ahead of you. Happy to help a fellow ranger. Good. There aren't many of us out there, so it makes all our lives easier when we can help each other out. Now let's talk about those outlaw ships. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. Mm -hmm. Can't let that happen. Oh, we won't. We'll be killing them. Just tell me where they're headed and I'll handle it. They look to be heading for Polvo's Moon Miatha. Good hunting. Good hunting. Happy hunting. Alliteration. Happy hunting. H. Get it? Got it? Good. <gasps> okay, okay. I need to remind myself to just stop. Especially when I'm in spaceships like this, where I'm, I'm in space, which is like, I would love to be in space one day. I would definitely be one of those people to take a trip up and like orbit the Earth for a day and then come back down. Look at this. Is this not... One of the most beautiful things you've ever seen in a video game ever. How is that not 
awe-inspiring. I'm like actually gonna cry. <sighs> okay, we're fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Suck it up. All right, undocking. Let's get the heck out of here. Let's go kill some pirates. Ooh! <gasps> please, please tell me we get to fight. Please tell me we get to fight. Come on, I want to fight. I want to fight. I want to fight. I want to fight. Yes! Let's freaking go. Okay. All right. Shields up. Yes. Ha! Yeah! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Throwing everything I got at him. Ooh, we need to... Yikes! We need to get out of here. We need to swerve a little bit. Payday! Yeah, right. Nice try. Alright, big guns at him. Come on, come on. There we go! That's right! And then I think you loot them by just, oh, uh, I don't know, um, flying past them, I think, or getting close enough to them? I can't remember. Where are you guys? Come back here. There you are. This is so cool. I just, you just spamming everything. <laughs> That's freaking right. This guy I want to see. Uh, crap, do I have to press a button to loot them? Oh no. Oh, repair, repair. Ooh, what do you think you're doing? Ha 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 ha. I'll be the last one laughing, okay? God, the missiles are so good. Man, if you want to kill them fast, just go all missiles all day. All day. So yeah, how do we... Oh! Ship parts? Okay, yes, yeah, so you do need to fly close enough to them. And then just press A. A. That's easy peasy. There's one last outlaw ship to loot. And then we're gonna scoop. But yeah, you have some time after combat to go loot everything. Copper, positron battery. I don't know what I'm gonna need, but I think all of this stuff goes into your ship inventory. And then when you hit up a vendor, you can just easy peasy sell it while you're there. I love that. Amazing. Travel. Oh, this is so addictive. So there's Polvo. Open planet map. Hope Town. I hope it's as nice as it sounds. Actually, it's probably not gonna be very nice. Ooh, cool planet. We should swing by Hope Tech Star Yard and see if we have anything interesting for sale. Oh, cool. Yeah, don't mind if I do. I don't, where do I start? I'm overwhelmed again. I loved coming across like new places that we've never seen before. It's just like, you get a fresh take. Hello there. Oh my gosh. There's a lot going on. What's in here? What's in the Rangers thing? I don't want to hear any complaints. I ain't complaining. Jeez. Here's the jail. Is this where they keep outlaws like me who bring contraband? <laughs> All right. Oh, I can't wait to go explore. A little desperate Hi. here. Hi. I yes. Hi, desperate. I'm Miranda. Idealistic and perhaps a bit of a dreamer. <laughs> but you have to admire what he's accomplished. Excuse me, Sarah, you just cut off this wonderful person from speaking this to me. This can't be happening. <laughs> What's Sorry, happening? Adela, deep breath. <sighs> Adela. Oh God. What's, oh God, you don't look like things are going well. What's wrong? <laughs> I'm just great. Grand, really. <laughs> you don't when look I like signed it. on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed. Or worse. What'd you do? Or not do? I'm a captain too. Us captains need to stick together. You are sincerely the answer to my prayers. Oh. So, I fly a rustic <laughs> called the Markab for a small shipping line. It just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock, and minerals. Have you ever had a standard boring job just blow up in your face? Nope, can't say I have. <laughs> I look at situations like that as opportunities. What a me thing to say. 
That's not helpful. I was trying to be endearing, so okay? I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment, slag steel. Nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got crazy. Spacers, Freestar security, the works. The work. Man, they got powered down. Hand over the contraband. Or sometimes just firing first. I skipped the system, ditched the cargo, and have been running ever since. Oh, so she's on the run? That is really terrible. It gets even worse. <gasps> a tracker just landed, and I just know he's hunting a bounty. Me. But the trick is, everyone knows the ship. But my info isn't in the database yet. All they got is my last name, Fahim. So if you go into the pit Adela stop Fahim. Claim, your captain what a great Fahim name. Markab, maybe you can deal with the tracker? I guess I'm Captain Fahim then. <laughs> you are the best. This slate has everything they know about me. It's not much. <laughs> okay. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. That, Thank you. Dude, that does not narrow it down. <laughs> I, just just walking in here alone, I've seen three people with cowboy hats. You can't protect your own, you don't belong here. <laughs> well, excuse me. Ooh, Hope Tech. Hello? You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust? No trouble at all. Good. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened them up for you. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The Marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the Starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. Nobody from Hope Tech reported the Starship theft? No. That's weird. And I can't get answers as to why not. I'm sure Mr. Hope has his reasons. Shady. Let's meet with Ron Hope. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. Okay. Okay, so maybe she'll help me, like, give me the grand Ron tour. Hope certainly embodies the saying, a spared no expense. <laughs> it is a pretty nice facility in here. Ron Hope isn't just the founder and president of Hope Tech. Fancy. The Council of Governors. The Council oversees the Freestar Rangers, so don't rile them up. I've spent oh, a lot that's of time right. trying to build a good relationship with Hope. <laughs> he comes on a little strong, but there's a lot to admire about the man. Everything you see around you? He built. Pretty much everyone in this town owes him for their livelihood. You can't begin to imagine the kind of pressure that must put on someone. Very industrial in here. Try to show a little respect. You show me respect, I'll show you respect. Ooh! Pretty high, but I think it's yeah, nice office. As for parts... Sir, why do you need so many couches in your office? Contract with scavengers, maybe, but that's a decision that's got to be made upstairs. Hmm. Talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea, provided we get a good deal. And I don't mean a fair deal. I mean a good deal. Remember, it's not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. We look out for our people here, Burchett. That's a point of great personal pride. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, Dan, good to see you. I think we're done here, Virgin. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling for the Free Star Ranger. Yes, nice to meet you. We certainly could. Talk to him, okay. Let's get down to it, shall we? Time is money. It's true, I like the way I'm you think. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. Oh, justice must be done, and the sooner the better. I found your stolen ship on Monterra Luna. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course. That doesn't mean your work is done. Of course not. I want the thief found and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you 
of my position on the Council of Governors? Pulling that card, yep. I'm kind of wanting to give him a little bit of sass. Then, I trust that you know what I expect of you. Oh! No. His tone changed real fast. Lead of some kind. Hmm? Oh, yeah, he's two-faced. He's He only likes you when you can do something for him. The ship was delivered to a group of men who were trying to acquire a farm. Though what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me. What does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. Why didn't anyone report the theft? Because I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. <laughs> it's always about money. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Fatal to your and bank what's account. More, every Starship thief in the settled systems would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. The thief had inside help. Know anything about that? What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a... Cosette. A personnel review. <laughs> Rest I assured. love that name. If we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice... I'll let you know. Oh, as a musical theater fan, Cassette, Les Mis, love it. Was there anything unique about the stolen ship? No, nothing at all. It was just a, a oh. standard Hope Tech cargo hauler. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech builds some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Mm -hmm. You can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. <laughs> All right, dude, I think we're done here. Very well. I need you to understand something, deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children mm -hmm. who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables mm -hmm. and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. Of course, If yeah. word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust. And my workers will pay the price. Mm -hmm. I can't allow that. Well, heavy is the head that wears the crown. <laughs> I'm sure the burden of responsibility for your workers is an yeah. inconvenience, Mr. Hope. But the deputy has responsibilities as well. Despite Thank you for sticking up for me. I have great respect for the badge and the difficult choices that come with it. But my primary concern is for the welfare of my people. Yes, of course, of course. I'm sure you don't absolutely love having so many people depend on you for their welfare and how much of a burden that must be on you. I'm sure you do not love the power that comes along with that whatsoever. No, absolutely not. I understand your position. That is all I will say. I hope so. I'm sorry to interrupt. Yep. There's been He's given scummy vibes. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. Cosette. We have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. Well, deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon, which means I can get back to work. All right. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? Oh, yeah. Well, no pressure then, I guess. Wait, wait, wait. Does she got to fill me in on something? I didn't like how that sounded. She's like, I need to tell you something. We cannot have him here. That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Yep, it's enough to go on. Let's hope. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger station there. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But 
and neon's a different kind of place. <laughs> I oh, neon. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh, is that the place that I think I remember seeing in the in the direct? It looked like Night City from Cyberpunk. Oh my god, I can't wait to go there. We're we're definitely gonna go there, but it might have to be next episode. Jalen Price, got it. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Oh, likewise. For helping me out up there. You're so sweet. Thanks for setting up the meeting. No problem. Good luck on Neon, Deputy. Ooh, I can't wait to go. Almost 6,000 credits from that, too. And we got a level up. That's all, folks, for today. I think I have an idea of what Neon looks like. I do think it's a town that was depicted in the Starfield Direct, obviously. It was very neon, very brightly colored, with a ton of neon lights everywhere, so I think that's gonna be really fun. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching yet another Starfield episode. Now that I finally feel so much more comfortable with this game, it is infinitely more fun and keeps getting more and more enjoyable the more i discover the more that i learn and the more trouble that i get into honestly i think the only thing now like i understand the map and most other things so really the only thing left that i am having a harder time picking up on and this is not news to me whenever i have to craft bases or like upgrade ships and stuff and then there's like a lot of menus and a lot of numbers and things on the screen it's always very 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 overwhelming so i think for like the starship and upgrading that and like expand i know you can expand on it and you can make your starship look really 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 cool along with eventually being able to build up a base i'm assuming all of that tends to get really overwhelming for me and i'm definitely feeling that way right now about the starship stuff i'm sure so many people are going to come out with guide videos on how to do that and i i honestly i can't wait for the plethora of content ideas that are going to come out when this game finally releases i really 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 hope that you guys are enjoying this i hope that it is everything that you hoped for for me personally absolutely 100% is. This is a Bethesda game through and through. I can feel it in my soul. It's giving me all the same feelings that I got when I played the Fallout games and all of the Elder Scrolls games. And I love how like even in this episode, I didn't really do a main mission at all. I decided to go the route of becoming a space ranger. And then I found myself going down that entire very lengthy rabbit hole. That's what makes the faction quests in all of the Bethesda games so special is how in-depth they can go and how they can feel like a totally separate storyline. I would love to know your thoughts on this game. Feel free to gush about it down below in the comments. I can't wait to read them. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button to get notified for the next one. Next time, we're definitely going to be heading to Neon, and I'm very excited to see what that city looks like. Alrighty, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.